know that we can't just drill our way to lower gas prices. There are neighborhoods around the country where it is easier for a 12 or 13 year old to purchase a gun and cheaper than it is for them to get a book. Uh, we have been very clear to the Assad regime, but also to other players on the ground that a red line for us is we start seeing a whole bunch of chemical weapons moving around or being utilized. First of all, I didn't set a red line. The world set a red line. The information was already out. It was in the hands of WikiLeaks. So that was going to come out no matter what. Uh, what I was concerned about in particular was making sure that that wasn't compounded by potential hacking that could hamper vote counting, affect the actual election process itself. And so in early September, when I saw President Putin in China, uh, I felt that the most effective way to ensure that that didn't happen was to talk to him directly and tell him to cut it out, and there were going to be some serious consequences if he didn't. Uh, and in fact, we did not see further tampering of the election process. But the leaks through WikiLeaks had already occurred. Uh, and in fact, we did not see further tampering of the election process. Uh, and in fact, we did not see further tampering of the election process. Uh, and in fact, we did not see further tampering of the election process.